This motion, ladies and gentlemen, is a natural extension um, and gives practical application to the cooperation between our, our three associations. Um, it's also an implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding that Central Council signed recently with the three associations. It brings a representative of the Camogie Association and the Ladies Football Association onto Central Council and onto Quish but in a non-voting capacity. Cooperation, obviously, between our three associations continues to grow, perhaps manifested in some ways by the number of double-header league matches we've had recently and the level of cooperation that both Kieran and Fergal have alluded to in their reports from the, from the workshops. Larry. Can I have a seconder, please? Victor, I second them. Thank you, Michael. Anyone wish to speak to the motion? Uchtaran, Michael Mokhan Corrigan in Longford. I'd like to fully support the motion. Um, I was delighted to support it at the Central Council when we signed the Memorandum of Understanding. Um, I think it's the way forward for all three associations, and I would ask delegates to support it. And to remember that the players that play these games in both these associations are our mothers, our sisters, our daughters. So I urge delegates to support it. Tracy Nikaneda, Kirkig, um, Ugtron, obviously Cork would like to support this motion. I suppose just a point of observation on it. I would hope that um, if it is carried today, that it might contribute maybe to greater efforts in relation to fixture coordination. I'm thinking, thinking particularly of the national leagues, but also obviously in relation to championships. Much has been made of the fact that in Cork this evening we'll have our first ever um, double header with ladies football and a Cork men's football team. And that has taken you know, a bit of effort to bring about. And I suppose I would like to see a situation in the future where fixture programmes could be coordinated between the three bodies at the start, we'll say, rather than something that we had to work towards after fixtures were in place. So maybe a move like this might help us to move in that direction. Gravmagal. We we'll take that on board. Padre O'Neill Leash. Oakdron, at your request, I had the honour of uh, being organising chairman of uh, two failures, Failapel and Failin and Og, and this uh, showed me how all our associations can come together and use the expertise and the professionalism that is there to run events, and it included uh, and Utla scale, football, hurling, uh, handball, camogie, and rounders. And as coincidentally, both of those failures took place here in Wexford. I see an awful amount of people here who have helped out in those uh, failures and are now in higher capacities within their county. So I know that they know that there is a great uh, working relationship between the organizations, and I believe that if this in any way can steer it, that we can utilize all of the expertise among the associations, I think it's a move in the right direction. Gora Mahakot. 90% in favor, 10% against, the motion is carried.